Hello everybody, it's Jen. I'm making a card with the Aloha stamp set today, as well as Life is Good. And I'm going to use the little fish from Fantastic Friends and this little uh, tropical drink from the Life is Good and the pool floaty from Gerda Steiner Designs Pool Piggies. So I'm going to start out doing my background for the card. I'm using Cracked Pistachio, Peacock Feathers, and Mermaid Lagoon Distress Ink. And today I'm using some Bristol Smooth cardstock, which is beautiful to blend distressed inks on. So I started out with the Cracked Pistachio as the lightest, then moved on to the Peacock Feathers, and now I'm working with the Mermaid Lagoon. And you can see that I'm really starting to darken up the color here as I move back through the colors. So I'm gonna add a little bit more Peacock Feathers and blend that in nicely, and then bring in the Cracked Pistachio, which really gives it's a tropical water feel with that little bit of light green. So to do the sky, I'm using tumbled glass, and this is just a stencil that I've made out of 110 pound cardstock using the stitch cloud borders from Lawn Fawn. So I'm just moving the stencil around to make some clouds uh, to make a really soft, kind of whimsical sky for this scene card and after I'm done I just like to do a light coat of the tumbled glass just to take off the starkness of the white. So I'm just spraying that with my distress sprayer here with water and I'm going to lift up some of that pigment and there's the background done. So now I'm going to move into coloring the images and I'm using my Zig Clean Color Real brush markers today. So this is the light violet and I'm going to be putting all of the colors in the top left hand corner of the screen in case you want to write them down. So this pool float, I feel like I'm gonna have everything floating on it this summer. I absolutely love it. Now I'm moving into the red for the little crab here from the Life is Good set. And I'm laying down the color and then there's too much water coming out of my brush so I am wiping it off. I'm just going to work with it here. I'm going to do a thin layer and I'm going to come back to that after it dries. So for the strawberry daiquiri, I'm using light carmine and I'm just moving around the images here uh, using the yellow green and the mid green for the palm tree and the top of the pineapple. I'm going to blend that out with some water and that will blend these colors together really nicely, giving some shading, yet keeping it light and tropical. For the pineapple, I'm using the uh, yellow. And now I'm gonna start moving in to make some two-toned fish here. And there's nothing realistic about this card at all, so I'm just having fun with it. I'm using the beige as some shadow for the pineapple and then for the trunk of the palm tree. And for the palm tree, I'm just going to darken that up a little bit with the dark oatmeal just to give it some definition. Bring some water to blend that in. Then I'm going to be using the light blue for the glass. And here I'm going back with the red on the crab just to darken him up. And you can see once it dried, it allowed for another coat to go on very smoothly. So I'm going to finish up the fish and the little umbrella for the drink. And then I'm going to move on to the sand using the beige. I'm going to blend that out really smoothly. And then I'm going to die cut all the images. So here they are. I'm going to add the little sunglasses from the Aloha set and just darken that up a little bit with the black Zig Clean Color marker. And then the outline for the pool floaty, or the ocean floaty in this case, didn't have as dark a black line as the rest of the images, so I just went in with a marker just to make it look like they all went together. So now I'm going to use the ocean wave accents here to cut some slits in the background, and a little bit of a mistake here, when I put it through my die cut machine, there was some black ink on one of the pads, what do you call those, the plates? So I had to use my Tombow Sand Eraser to get that black ink off and then just fixed it up going over it again with the cloud stencil. So now I'm going to get my little sand island here in place and I'm going to glue 
the palm tree down as well. So I'm just using some clear liquid glue from Tombow. I want to make sure that's adhered nice and strong to the card. And here's Lila popping in to say hi. So now I'm going to use the smallest ocean wave accent here. This is from Lawn Font, and I'm going to cut three slits into the ocean where I want the little fish to be popping out of the ocean saying hello to the little pineapple floating in the ocean. And then I thought before I went any further, I should probably stamp my sentiment. So I'm using the Aloha sentiment here with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And now I'm going to start placing the images on the card. So I did get a little bit of adhesive spilling over. So I had planned to put the crab on the left hand side of the palm tree, but needed to put him on the right. But I think he looks okay there. I'm just using some zig Z bling dots, is it? Ugh. Anyways, to adhere those fish. And then I'm putting some shadowing on the floaty here. And I used the light blue in the video, but I after it was done, I went back with the cobalt blue. So that's the, what I put on there if you wanted to recreate something like this. Just popping the rest of the images on. I'm going to use my Wink of Stella glitter brush marker here to add some sparkle as it's a pretty sunshiny day, so I wanted it to be nice and sparkly. I'm now going to work on the inside of the card. I'm using the sentiment Enjoy the Summer, and that's from the Gerda Steiner, Steiner Pool Piggies. And I just colored a pineapple off screen and put that on the inside as well. So now I'm going to adhere the panel to my card base, and I'm going to use some glossy accents on the sunglasses and then on the drink just to make them look nice and shiny. So I'm also doing a giveaway today for reaching over 4,000 subscribers. So to say thanks to all of you, I am going to be sending this card and the Aloha set and this little uh, rainbow and clouds from Doodlebug. So all you have to do is be a subscriber, leave a comment below letting me know where you live so I can just see where my viewers are from and it's open to international subscribers as well. So here's some close-ups of the card. I hope you enjoyed the card today. I had a lot of fun making it, and I will see you all really soon in the next video. Bye.